So this is one of the RTK antigen COVID-19 saliva test kit. Now I'm going to show you uh, what is included in this kit and later perhaps do a demonstration about uh, how the test is done. Alright? So I'm just going to open that box now. Um, now here we see a dripper. This is a test to make sure that you know the kit is still valid and it's not expired. A swap. Usage instructions. This is where we will be collecting the saliva in. Buffer solution and a pipette. Right. So give me a minute while I go and collect my saliva. Right. So I've collected my saliva in this paper cup. Uh, it is very important that the saliva that's being collected is from what we call deep throat or the back of our throat. So typically uh, you would need to rinse your mouth uh, and, and you know not eat probably about a half an hour uh, prior to doing the test. So we will encourage someone to just cough uh, in, 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 in an area where there's no one and then collect your sal saliva and uh, expectorate it into this cup. Now, once this is done, uh, this is what we're going to do. This is the cartridge where we will do the test. Buffer solution. Open it. Use this pipette to draw the saliva sample. You can see here, I've taken a, a sample of saliva. Uh, we will place about three droplets inside. One, two, three. You can now discard both of this. Cover this and shake it a little bit. Now, uh, this is what we will be testing. So what you will do is drop three drops of this onto the panel at the cassette. One, two, three. Now, you can see here now that uh, is beginning to take effect. Typically, we have to wait for about five minutes uh, before reading the results. Right. You can see over here that there's a faint red line on the letter C. Uh, C stands for control. It means that the result is negative. Now, uh, the result is positive if you see two red lines, one at C and one at T. So you can be rest assured that uh, your results is negative. However, it's important to note that uh, the RTK antigen is not a confirmatory test. It is just a measure to have an extra sense of assurance. Um, if you have symptoms or um, you know, you're unwell, uh, or if the test is positive, you will still need to do a confirmatory PCR test. Thank you.